Hey everyone, Mr. Beetlebum here. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to snipe without getting lit. We enter a random battle, we find ourselves a bush, we park in the bush, and then in the first few minutes, boom, we're dead. We rage, we wonder how in the world did I get lit, this game sucks, it's broken, and we threaten ourselves that we're going to quit. Well, relax. Before you quit playing the game, before you quit playing tank destroyers, let's just quickly review a few tips that will help you become a better sniper and help you not get lit when playing a TD. So, step one is knowing how to increase your concealment. The first thing you want to do is train up both your tank and your tank's crew members to 100%. The efficiency is going to go through the roof once your tank gets to 100%, you'll notice your aim time is faster. Your accuracy will become better. Everything improves with your tank. That's why so many players will be talking about, oh, my tank is broken, my tank is terrible. And then once it gets up to 100%, they're hitting everything and they're doing a lot better and they wonder why. That's why. That's why it's so important to get to 100% on both your tank and your crew members. When you get your crew members up to 100%, then they can start training on special skills like concealment. That's a tank destroyer's number one skill that you want to learn. That's going to improve your camel rating. The more you improve your camel rating, the harder it's going to be for somebody to light you up when you're in a bush. So, other ways of improving your concealment. Obviously, there's the crew skill, getting that to 100% for concealment. There's also the camo paint that you can buy and put on your tank. You could also purchase a camo net and put it on your tank. For the crew members, there's rations, different kinds of food that will help them increase their skills. There's the brother in arms skill. There's ventilations that you can add onto your tank. There's also the natural cover directive that will add another 10% concealment. These are different ways that you can add concealment and improve it and the higher the concealment the less chance that you're going to get spotted. Step two is learning how to use your view rings. We all have three rings on our mini map in World of Tanks. The first ring, the one that's closest to us, that's our maximum view range. That just shows us how far we can see in our tank. The middle ring is known as the maximum spotting range and that shows us how far tanks have to be away from us in order for us to see them on our own. Now, the third ring is what's called the maximum render range. That's where our allies can help us out. If an ally is out in the field and he sees a tank that's within our maximum render range but past our spotting range, he gets to relay that information to us and we can see that tank. That's the most ideal situation that a tank destroyer would want. Okay, I've shown you how to increase your concealment. I've shown you how to use the view rings on your mini map. Now there's one thing that's left, how to hide. Hey guys, here we are in a field and I've caught a tank out in the middle of an open field and I'm shooting them. But I'm getting lit because like a noob, I'm not covered by a bush properly. So he can shoot back at me. What I need to do in this situation is just keep moving backwards until the bush is no longer transparent. Just like this. Now, because the enemy tank is starting to move forward, I simply reverse a little bit more. And again, the bush stays so that it's not transparent. Now I can just shoot him. I shoot him one, hit him, shoot at him again, give him a ricochet, shoot again, hit him again. I can do this all day long, not worrying about getting hit because I have it so that the bush is not transparent. This is a little different. If you look down the mini map, you're gonna notice that these tanks are past my maximum spotting range. So I know I can even be out in the open and just sit here all day long farming damage and not worry about where I'm going to get spotted by them. So that's what I'm doing. Once I realize, okay, the tanks are gone, like this last one I get one hit in, boom, they're gone. Now I realize, time to back up. This is a stock T67, and guys, this is what you need to do while you're grinding these tanks, while you're grinding through and getting your crew skills, is play at the back. 
that's what a TD is supposed to do anyways. Don't let anyone tell you that you're supposed to rush up front with scouts. You're not. You, you, you have paper armor, but you got good damage. Stay at the back, stay in bushes, use others to help you spotting, and you'll do really well.